My name is Josiah Platchek. I work for Austin Auto Body, who is owned by Haynes & Kibble House, or H&K Group. My career field is auto collision technology. My current title is auto collision technicians. My role here at the H&K Group in the body shop is the lead uh, body technician. Um, basically, I do anything from welding, fabricating, body work, uh, replacing panels all the way up to even uh, repainting some panels, pieces, trucks. The special skills and talents that you would need for this job, um, the skills are basically you got to have a, a feel for things. When you're fixing a dent, not every dent's the same, not every panel's the same. You have to be able to see color. You have to be able to see if the color's going to match, if the color's not going to match. Organization when you're taking apart a new truck when you when you disassemble something you have to be organized have all the parts in one area All the bolts in another area have to be labeled So my techniques and goals that got me to where I'm at today would be my speed my organization skills I have good hand-eye coordination from baseball and 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 playing sports When I was a little boy, I loved cars. I loved big trucks. I loved working on them. My father's in this business He's been in this business since I can remember, I love taking things that are a mess and a wreck and turning them back into something that somebody can be proud of. This is a floor that was rotted out on this uh, dump truck. And what I'm doing now is I cut out all the old rust. I'm welding in new panels. I have to weld in a new floor. And we actually had to replace this brace that you can see right there. So I'm going to show you how I would plug weld that brace back into place. I went to the tech school when I was a junior and senior in high school. So that was basically all the, the beginners. They teach you the, the basic skills um, about how you're going to do this job and what you need to learn. You know, you could pay to go to U, uh, UTI. Um, there's all different kinds of trade schools out there that you can do. And now that I'm in this field, we, we actually have training classes that we have to do yearly to keep up with the technology changes in the, in the vehicles. Obviously, gym was one of my favorite uh, courses in school. I also enjoyed math, which I use every single day here in the, in the collision field as far as ratios, measurements. Um, and I also liked art and painting. And, and like I said, one thing is with the color wheel. You, know, you have to understand the color wheel and what colors do and what colors match together and which colors don't match together so all those basically those three reading and writing you have to read the manuals to, and understand them um, as far as math goes like i said before the ratios um, we use ratios every day with mixing paint um, mixing plastic filler measuring and math and, and fabrication it's all about angles and you know there, there's all kinds of math in, in this in this field a mistake that I made back when I was a young kid was I was told by an old boss in a, in a body shop field. He says, look, you want to do this path. I said, no, I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about it. I look back nowadays and I probably should have just followed his advice. So here's a, an example of a truck that came in. It was damaged here on the side. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it got damaged, but there was actually a slice here. It came across this pillar and it actually ended up on the bedside all the way down to about here. So you can see here, I put a brand new bedside on it. Um, I repaired this panel. I actually had to do a little aluminum welding in here. I put plastic filler over that and I primered it. So right now I'm going to show you how to, that I'm, how I'm going to prep it for paint. So first I'm going to grab my DA, which is a, it's a dual action sander. And basically that makes it, uh, it's not as, as aggressive as sanding it by hand. Here at H&K, we always try to do safety first. You can see the dust coming off of it. It's actually very, very bad for your lungs and, and your health. So that's why we always wear these masks whenever we're sanding anything in the shop. So the types of jobs that are in this field are, there's, there's multiple types of jobs. In our shop alone, there's painting, there's sandblasting, there's detailing, there's pinstriping, there's lettering. 
my, my interests are cars and trucks, and this is 100% what I love to do and, and what I enjoy doing. There's, there's not a day that I wake up and I grumble about going to work. What I love most about my job is taking something that is destroyed and, and putting it back together and making the, the customer happy. If I could change anything about my job, honestly, I don't think I would. You know, I, I enjoy the guys I work with. I love the company I work with. And advice I would give to the kids is if you're into cars and you want to make cars look pretty, this is the field that you want to get into. If you want to make cars look cool, this is the field you want to get into. My most memorable experience that I had in doing collision work was my dad bought a 1979 Corvette. I was about 12 years old and it was candy apple red when he bought it. And he says, my, my mom always wanted a bright yellow Corvette. And he says, we're gonna paint it for her. We're not gonna let her know that we're doing it. When my mom saw that car, my dad had a huge red bow on the hood and she walked out, she started bawling her eyes out. I think that moment was where I thought, this is what I wanna do the rest of my life.